in Fantasticolor. Wait, before we go into Mayday Studio, uh, let's just talk about this lino cut process. I'm gonna walk you through it. I'm gonna make a lino cut. Um, this was a painting that I made over the summer and I was coming up with ideas that I thought would translate well to printmaking. This is a ink drawing, which is going to be the idea for the trees, which would be the foreground. Um, these are blank linoleum pieces, so this is what you carve into. This became the background block. Um, you can see all these little speckles are bits that I carved out, which then became the stars. Uh, and this is, these are the trees, which became the foreground. Um, and the reason I cut all of this out is that when we did the proof, we found that um, all of my carving marks were showing up. So background, foreground. Uh, so this process, this whole process took about, it took three visits. I went in for the proof. I went in to do the background, which that one took like four hours, maybe five hours. And then I went in for the foreground uh, and that one was a little bit quicker. Uh, Mayday Studio is owned and run by Kelly McMahon, who is amazing. Uh, Kelly's background originally was in poetry and then she got into printmaking um, and she does letterpress. She does so many different things. It was super fun to work with her. I, I was grateful for so many aspects of what Kelly taught me because she really, it was like a, taking a class, but the, her sense of color is phenomenal. She really helped me figure out how to take the colors from my sketch and get them into the print. Okay, so let's get into the video and uh, sort of see how the whole process came together. Back into Mayday Studio. What is happening today? Is the Pantone color system, uh, and these are the proofs that we did to sort of see how things worked. So Kelly is taking notes down for the colors that we were choosing. This is Rose, the lovely studio dog. This is one of the blues that we used for the background. Inking the block, this had to be done uh, in between every single print. So this is the background block and all the things that I carved out, like the stars, were the, the only things I carved out on this, those, you know, became white in the background. Um, <clears throat> so it just, it took a while every single time to, um, to start over and uh, to get the wash, the gradation done between each color. And then I rolled out the background. Uh, that was uh, 30 times of this, and that was one day of work. This is the finished background image. Here, Kelly is placing the trees, which became the foreground, uh, it was sort of a black with hints of green and yellow. Transparent. Hopefully they get that yellow and blue mixing a little bit more. Yeah. Kelly is just putting an even strip of ink down and that gets rolled out so that you can ink up your block. How do you know when it's inked? Is it a sound thing or? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so there's the hiss. Uh huh. So that's a flap. It's like big clumps of ink. Okay. But you want that that silky s. Yeah. Sibilant sound. Yep. Um, trip to print. Does it shut off by itself? Uh, it doesn't. Um, I don't always ink between prints, but with something that wants oh, a lot right. of ink. When you were inking, that's why you switched it. Ooh, interesting. 
That looks good, I think. Yeah. Okay. Then I got to work inking the trees, which are the foreground, and that process went a little bit quicker than the background. It's just one color that you're inking, so uh, it's a little bit quicker than the background three color blues that I had going on. Kelly and I found out that we both lived in San Francisco at the same time in the early 2000s, so that was fun. We talked about places that we visited and, um, I don't know, we had to have walked by each other in the city a couple times and never known it. We were just in the same place at the same time. So it's kind of cool to think we were maybe eating pumpkin curry in the same restaurant the, on Valencia Street. Who knows? This is the finished print, New England Nocturne. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Come mm here. -hmm.